Okay, so boys, we're going through some examples now. So if you look at this first question, we have an amount of $13,000 invested at 5% per annum interest, 5% per annum interest, compounded. So whenever they work, put the word compounded in, it means you have to do the compound interest. Okay, if they don't mention compounded, it's a simple interest question. And it's there for two years. So it says, what is the total value of the investment? So remember that this formula is finding the total value of the investment. It's not finding the interest. Okay, so we start over here with the working. So we'll put the two formulas side by side, and then we're going to start here. So if you have a look up here, we've got 5%. That is our R. That's our little r. So that goes in here. All right, now if you put in your calculator 1 plus 5 over 100 press equals, just make sure you're getting a decimal answer. If you're not, if it's um, improper fraction or something, use the SD key to change it. It should come up as 1.05. I want that as a decimal. Okay, once you've got that, you come out back over here to this formula. We're putting in the principal, which is the original amount that you invested, $13,000, times... Now the R you just found, that's the decimal 1.05, and N is the number of time periods. Now all of this at the moment is in years, so we're in there for two years with this investment. If you put that into your calculator, exactly as it says it on the, on the board there, if your screen looks the same, press equals, and you should get that answer. Make sure for money you have two decimal places in your answer, so you will need to put a zero on the end of that one. Okay, the next question, number two. So this time we've got an investment of $8,000 invested for three years at 1.75% per annum. Compounded yearly. So remember before I said if you see the word compounded and something written after it, take note. So they're telling you that it compounds every year. So everything that we do has to be in years in this question. And we're lucky because it is. The three years is in years. And per annum means per year. So that's in years as well, so we're ready to go. So put the two formulas down side by side, start your working over here. So our interest rate is 1.75, that's our little r that's going in here. Put the whole thing in your calculator and make sure you get a decimal, and it should be 1.0175. Then we come over here to this part. So we're putting in our principal, the amount we invested, $8,000. The R is what you just calculated, 1.0175. And the N is the time period, how long it's been there. And remember, this is all in years at the moment. So three years goes in there. Put all that in your calculator. Make sure you know where your power key is. All right, you might have done that last one with the squared key, but you need your power key for this one. So it's 8,000 times 1.0175 to the power of 3 equals. And it should give you that answer. When we round off to two decimal places for money, that's less than 5, so it's 0.39 on the end. Now the second part of this, that first part was asking for the total amount of the investment, which is what that formula finds. The second part wants you to find the interest you earned. But the interest you earned was the final value of the investment minus what it was to start with, $8,000. So that formula should make sense. It shouldn't be anything that you're having to learn off by heart. It should just make sense. It now looks like that in my account. It used to look like that. Whatever the difference is, is the extra money you earned. That's your interest. Okay, now over here to number three. This question straight out says calculate the amount of interest. They're not building you up to it. So you need to know that, well, I'm going to go through this formula and find out what my investment's worth now. Then I'm going to find the interest. All right, they've just launched you straight into it. So you need to know exactly what you're doing by practicing this. Okay, so we know where, where we're going with the interest through the two formulas. Here it says compounded annually. Annually means yearly. So that means that everything, all 
time periods have to be in years. We're lucky that it is here. We've got eight years. We've got per annum interest rate, which is per year. So everything's ready to go. Start your working over here like we did before. Your interest rate of 2.5 goes in here and work out your decimal off your calculator. When you come over here to this part, our original investment, our principal is 6,500 times, put your decimal in for R, and then the number of years goes up the top here. So again, put in your calculator, know where that power key is, 6,500 times 1.025 to the power of eight, make sure your screen looks like that, press equals, and round it off to two decimal places in the end should get $7,919.62. So, question asked for interest, so that's what we're going to do now. Our final value of inv our investment is $7,919.62. Take off what we originally invested, and all of that money you've got there is interest you earned. So you can see with compound interest, you do earn a fair bit of money. That's only a fairly low interest rate. Okay, question four. All right, so over to this question, this is where they get complicated. In the next video, we're gonna do a lot more, but this is the first one you really have to think about. So they want you to find in all of these questions, firstly, the total amount, or the final amount of your investment, and secondly, the interest earned, and you know how to do that now. But this question, when you read it, says you've got $10,000 invested for five years, 6% per annum, which is per year, but it's compounded monthly. Okay, so whatever's written after the word compounded, in this case, monthly, means everything has to be in months. Right, because what's actually happening is they are paying you interest every month and adding to your balance so that your money grows. Then on your newer balance, they give you interest on that for the next month. So every month they're paying you interest. All right, so everything has to be in months. So if we have a look at this, the original question told us we had five years. That has to change to months. So to go from years to months, we're going to times by 12, and five years is 60 months. You will be using that in your formula. The other thing we have to look at is the 6% per annum, which means 6% per year. We have to get that to a per month interest rate, because that's when they're paying you your interest. So we're having to divide by 12 to find out what the percentage is they're paying per month. If you do 6 divided by 12, you will get 0 0.5. Always use decimals. So it's 0.5% per month. This is what you're going to use for your little R value now. Not the original thing. This one, because everything has to be in months. So we're going to use our little formula, put 0 0.5 in there. And this will be the decimal you end up with, 1.005. Now we come back to the formula, put your original amount of money in, 10,000, times your decimal you just found, 1.005, to the power of 60, because the N has to be in months. So we're using the 60 months. Work it all out, and you end up with $13,488.50. In part two, to find the interest, we're going to take that final value of our investment, take off the original value of the investment, which was 10000 and you've just earned $3,488.50 in interest, which is not too bad over five years for only $10,000. Okay, so we're going to do some more practice with those harder ones in the next video, and um, keep working.